everyone, it's Pastor Kim coming to you with a midweek message. This coming Sunday, November 22nd, marks what we might think of as the New Year's Eve of the liturgical year. It's the last Sunday of this church year, meaning that next week we begin a new year with the beginning of Advent. The last Sunday of the church year is known as Christ the King Sunday. We highlight the fact that Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords, that all authority in heaven and on earth and everywhere belongs to him and to no other. The theme of worship this weekend is intended to remind us of who Jesus is and who we are in relationship to him. Through our baptisms into Christ's death and resurrection, we become part of the body of Christ in the world. As you've heard it said many times, that makes us, you and me, the hands and feet of Jesus in the world. Another way of saying that we're the body of Christ in the world is to say that we, you and I, embody Christ's presence in the world. Now, it's been said about that fact that it's possible that the biggest barrier to living out that identity isn't so much our lack of faith as it is a lack of imagination. In other words, what might it look like to be the hands and feet of Jesus in our daily lives? On this upcoming Christ the King Sunday, Jesus will share with us a parable recorded in Matthew's Gospel, a parable intended to challenge and inspire our imaginations to live out our calls and responsibilities celebrated in baptism, to embody Christ in every moment, and to engage every part of our world as Christ's redeemed creation. In this parable, Jesus will uncover for us a truth that we often forget. The truth that every time we do a good and loving deed for someone, we are actually doing the same for him. It was true for the people in Jesus' parable, too. They asked, well, when was it that we saw you hungry or thirsty? Neither those who helped others nor those who didn't recognize that it was Jesus himself they were serving, or not. Apparently, no one is very good at recognizing Jesus. That's why the reminders we'll hear on Sunday are so very important. Martin Luther taught that we are to be little Christs to one another, to live out our baptismal calls to be the hands and feet of Jesus in the world. What does that look like? Well, I leave you with two quotes which provide examples of how we might follow that invitation of Jesus. From Mahatma Gandhi, we hear these words, be the change you wish to see in the world. And from Pope Francis, we hear this wisdom, you pray for the hungry, then you feed them. This is how prayer works. Please tune in to worship on Sunday as we celebrate Christ our King. Have a great rest of your week.